Welcome to the 1400s, a time when books were copied by hand and the spread of knowledge was painfully slow until one man changed everything. This is the story of Johannes Gutenberg, the inventor of the printing press, the man who sparked a revolution of knowledge. Johannes Gutenberg was born around the year 1400 in Mainz, Germany. Young Johannes was born into a wealthy family of merchants and craftsmen. His father, Friel Gensfleisch, worked as a goldsmith for the local archbishopric, a respected and crucial profession. Gutenberg had access to a good education. He likely studied metalworking, engraving and gem cutting as a young man, skills that would later become essential in his groundbreaking invention. He attends school, learns Latin and immerses himself in ancient texts captivated by their wisdom. The young Johannes is particularly fascinated by the works of classical authors whose ideas and philosophies shape his early thinking. Drawn to his father's workshop, Johannes discovers a passion for metalworking. The workshop becomes his sanctuary, a place where he can channel his creativity and curiosity. These skills honed over years will serve as the foundation for a future filled with endless possibilities. As he grows older, Johannes's interests begin to expand. He starts to experiment with new techniques and technologies, always seeking to push the boundaries of what is possible. His innovative spirit leads him to the world of printing, where he will eventually make his most significant mark on history. Though much of Gutenberg's early life is unclear, we do know he moved to Strasbourg in the 1430s. He sets up shop as a goldsmith, but he yearns for something more. It was here that he began experimenting with ways to improve the cumbersome process of reproducing books. His experiments lead him down a path never traveled before. In 1440, Gutenberg made a critical breakthrough. He combined several existing technologies, including the screw press used in winemaking and movable type, individual letters that could be arranged and rearranged. These letters can be arranged to form words, sentences, and entire pages. The result, the world's first mechanical printing press. Gutenberg returns to Mainz, his mind ablaze with ideas. He sets up a workshop, his secret project hidden from prying eyes. He begins to assemble his printing press, a marvel of engineering for its time. Unlike handwritten manuscripts, Gutenberg's movable type allowed for the mass production of text. Each letter was carved out of metal, fitted into a frame, and pressed onto paper with ink. Years of tireless work culminate in his masterpiece, the Gutenberg Bible. Printed in 1455, it is a testament to Gutenberg's vision and ingenuity. The Gutenberg Bible is not just a book, it is a revolution. This Bible, a two-volume work, became the first major book printed in Europe using movable type. It showed the world how books could be produced efficiently, leading to an explosion of printed materials across Europe. Unfortunately, while Gutenberg's invention was revolutionary, his life was not without struggle. He was embroiled in financial disputes and lost control of his press to his financier, Johann Fust. Gutenberg never saw great wealth from his invention during his lifetime, though the Archbishop of Mainz recognized him in his later years for his contributions to society. By the time of his death in 1468, Gutenberg had laid the foundation for the modern printing industry, even though he never fully reaped the benefits of his invention. But his invention lives on, its impact reverberating through the centuries. Johannes Gutenberg's invention of the movable type printing press in the 15th century was a groundbreaking moment in history. It revolutionized the way information was disseminated, making books and other printed materials more accessible to the masses. The printing press has come a long way since Gutenberg's day. From simple wooden presses powered by hand to high-speed automated digital printers, his invention has evolved into a global tool that can print millions of books, newspapers and more instantly at the push of a button. The advent of the steam-powered press in the 19th century and the linotype machine in the late 19th and early 20th centuries further accelerated the printing process, allowing for even faster production of printed materials. 
Today, the printed word has expanded beyond paper into the digital realm with e-books and online articles, but it all started with Johannes Gutenberg's movable type press, a true revolution in human communication. Despite the technological advancements, the core goal of printing remains the same, to spread information and empower individuals through printed materials. Libraries and bookstores continue to be vital resources for learning and knowledge. Johannes Gutenberg's legacy lives on today in every book we read and every newspaper we flip through. His printing press changed the world. And while technology has advanced, the core idea of sharing knowledge with the masses remains the same. And we can say that all of Gutenberg's dreams came true. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more amazing stories from history.